Howdy folks, hope you're having a good day. A little cold here in Southern Texas today, but uh, we've got, uh, I've got a project going on for Peg Wall. I've been telling you about it, and it showed you a little bit about it last week, but it's still, it's uh, in the uh, not finished yet deal. It started last Friday, and it's been a bit of a disaster, mostly because I'm running what they call Pet G on a 3D printer, and that plastic, for some reason, and me, are we just don't like each other or something. Meantime, I found another project that I thought was kind of cool, so I made one. And it was like, it's one of those little tools around the house that's kind of handy to have sometimes when you're working on something small and you need to bang it with like a little bit of a hammer or something and you don't want to use a great big ball peen steel hammer. You can print yourself a little heavy duty little plastic hammer on a 3D printer. That's kind of a cool idea. Real quick here, but um, if you're into 3D printing, uh, this is you gotta have to pay attention to the settings. This is solid. Uh, actually, the one that the guy calls for is solid. This is 80% fill, so it's you know fairly heavy, fairly strong. But it also has eight layers instead of just a couple of layers on the outside. So when you make this, you have to re realize you're going to have to change your settings in your slicer to get the hammer the way you want it. So it's going to be you know fairly decent. But if you want to, you know, have a little plastic hammer around, I have quite a set of hammers, but I don't have anything plastic head right now. I used to have a plastic head hammer. So I thought, you know what, that, that might be just fine because I, sometimes you just want to pound a little something down. You don't want to mark it or bang it up too much with a metal hammer. So little plastic hammers, yeah, it's, you know, kind of cool. Wow, what else we got going on this week? <laughs> I got some cables in for my solar panels finally because we're going to be starting that project up uh, as soon as the weather gets a little milder. <laughs> it's a little cold here to, again today. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever heard of work in progress, uh, this is the sort of high-tech pegboard system that I'm 3D printing. I wanted to make nine panels. Right now I'm thinking about six panels and just stopping because uh, there's a lot of issues going on here with the uh, printers with this particular print and it's something that I talk about with 3D printing all the time. I try to tell people, you know, be careful. G-code or STL files, excuse me, STL files, when they send STL files over to you and you download them, a lot of times you can get some pretty bizarre corruption things going on, uh, even having your machine go do a little crazy thing on you or something. So uh, we had, I definitely had some fitting problems here with uh, the parts and stuff. This is all uh, supposed to be, I think, pet G. Uh, so, and it's at a uh, draft kind of setting. And I think it's gonna be really cool when it's all done. This is actually, well, this could be the top or that could be the top right now. The flat area is the top of your pegboarding system and then you plug in your modules and your little boxes and part tools and what have you. So it's a really neat system, really like it. Found it over there at the principles with Prusa, but it has been an absolute problem with uh, printing. So yeah. I've had no fun. This started on Friday. This is Thursday, so it's been almost a week, and I am still finishing up. In fact, tomorrow, I think we'll finish this up and uh, move on. <laughs> it's been it's been just wow, you know. The, and it doesn't sit real flat, of course, so that's not too bad. As you pull like, these uh, pieces in that that help to hook each of the panels together, I'm getting a little bit of warping, but that's okay. When we nail her to the wall. It isn't going to matter that much. Here's one of the uh, really cool little uh, items. This will plug into that panel, and you have a, a wrench holder or tool holder uh, specifically for the panel. So, as a pegboard system, I really like the idea and being able to just print it and customize it the way I want for my application. I thought was really cool, but. Uh, you know, it was one of those, uh, I felt like I opened Pandora's box when I got into this, but we're getting through it. We're, you know, making headway, just having a lot of, uh, a lot of curves in the learning thing going on. So, hey, we got a, we got a draw today for a tool and then we got to set something else up for next Thursday. So yeah, hang with me. Uh, another item that uh, goes into the pegboard is these little bins and they are just really cool little bins that, that plug into the pegboard and you get these little uh, you know things like you can put like your nozzles and all your little parts and wrenches and stuff like that in there on the pegboard system behind your 3D printer so you have all this little wall area here with you know little goodies on it. And I really like these because they're really stylish but he also prints these two pieces so you plug this in on the end. 
If you decide to take this up, make sure you sand the hole a little bit first because I found the black piece doesn't want to just plug into the orange piece. You'd almost have to break this thing to get it to plug in afterwards. So yeah, the, uh, the print still is really cool. It's at the Prusa uh, website under printables. And in fact, there's a little trophy uh, beside this guy's uh, stuff. So apparently he got, they gave him an award or gave him five stars or whatever for uh, his uh, invention, I guess we'll call it. It's really cool. So hopefully when we get it all done, we'll be able to show it. Ooh, you know. All right, let's get back to the draw. Okay, we're back. Uh -huh. Here, here's what we're drawing for, the Testman. Smart digital meter. You don't need to set anything, just put the probes on something and it'll tell you what you're looking at. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, 3D printed uh, cell phone holder. Yep, I like that one. Texas style today too. Oh uh, yeah, let's get the old cowboy hat and bring it on over here. And let's see what we can do. We've got the smaller tickets this week again. We're making small tickets now. And we'll mix all the names up in the hat. See if we can get it all stirred up good. And let's see who's getting one of these bad boys. Yeah, let's see. Oh man. All right, here we go. That's uh, who we got here. We got Wayne in Manchester, Connecticut. Congratulations, Wayne in Manchester, Connecticut. Yes, you got yourself one of these. Yep, you get. I'm mailing it to you, man. You deal with it. Okay. <laughs> now, what do we got? Uh, put Wayne aside here, and it just so happens that company sent me two of these. So, uh, I generally don't, I try not to keep too much of the stuff around because it'll, it'll pile up. And, and uh, I've got so many meters right now, it's a really cool little backup meter or whatever, but I don't need it, you know. So, yes, let's do it again. Let's give another one away. Boom, okay, I'm back. I had to go look for the other one. <laughs> I had two of these, you know. And I don't plan on keeping one, and I want to thank again Testament for sending these over to us because as a review thing for a meter, they were really cool. So let's get the hat back. Let's find another, yeah, another one, you know. Let's see who else got one. <laughs> All right, here we go. And this one is Robert in Danville, Virginia. Okay, Robert in Danville, Virginia. You're getting one as well. You're getting the other one. <laughs> And I'm not even sure which one we opened up for the show. So you guys, I don't know. Yeah, you know, whatever, whatever happens, happens, right? Okay. And we've got a brand new uh, CNC machine in the last couple of weeks. And I can't show it to you or really talk about it until it's released. The product will be released February the 15th. And that's when their big launch day is. And we'll have our show on that day and we'll be able to show the new CNC machine. We also have uh, some three-in-one machines coming in, and I think we have another printer, I believe, coming in, and so nothing else is here right now. You know, so anyways, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notice bell, and next week, hopefully, we'll have some tools in here so we can, you know, get in the garage and mess around some more. All right, over and out. <laughs>